We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. President Ferdinand Armarcos Jr. is confident that the country will achieve a single-digit poverty rate by 2028, as assured by Socio-Economic Planning Secretary Arsenio Balisacan. Balisacan said the 9% poverty incidence goal by 2028 is possible with the creation of more quality jobs and improvement in the social protection system. He also expressed confidence that there is a reason for optimism as the Philippines' rapid growth recovery is firming up despite global headwinds. Marcos earlier said that the country's gross domestic product or GDP is displaying a rebound growth rate. The Department of the Interior and Local Government wants to empower the local government units in managing agriculture, health and environment services through its continuous capacity development efforts. Interior Secretary Benhar Abalos Jr. said the priority sectors in the capacity development agenda for provinces are agriculture, environment, health, and administrative. Four component cities and municipalities, priority sectors also include agriculture, health, environment, social welfare, and administrative sectors. As such, Avalos said the national government agencies must calibrate their initiatives to better address the needs of the LGUs. The Bureau of Customs has surpassed its annual revenue collection target of 721.52 billion pesos for 2022. Based on a preliminary report, the BOC has generated 745.50 billion pesos or over 3% higher than the revenue target. It added that 17 of the Bureau's collection districts also reached their respective targets and earned a surplus of 103 billion pesos as of October 31. Commissioner Ryogi Filemon Ruiz said this was made possible through programs to curb smuggling and corruption, optimize revenue collection, and digitalize and enhance customs operations. He said his priority programs are anchored on the eight-point socio-economic agenda of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. He also thanked the personnel of the Bureau for their continuous hard work and vowed to support them. The Department of Transportation is targeting the start of the operation of the LRT-1 Cavite Extension Project by September 2024. DOTR Secretary Jaime Bautista made the statement following the inspection of the Dr. Santos and Nino Aquino stations. Bautista said the DOTR and the Light Rail Manila Corporation have formed an agreement to ensure that the 11.7-kilometer train project will be operational as scheduled. He assured that the construction of the project is on track. Phase 1 of the RT-1 Cavite extension is about 75.3% complete as of October. Once the ELRT-1 Cavite extension project is completed, travel time from Baclaran to Bacoor is expected to decrease from 1 hour and 10 minutes to about 25 minutes. And that is the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head on to the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We are also shown on the social media pages of the Office of the Press Secretary and on Radio Pilipinas RP1. Stay tuned for more news updates. I am William Theo. We tell stories that inspire change.